Good morning, folks. India's power failure is fixed. Some confusion on this. There were two events. 300 million people lost power. They fixed it. Then 670 million lost power. Officials say they were simply drawing too much off the system, and it failed. Torrential rain caused a flash flood in Marlboro, New Zealand yesterday. Kindly awaiting till after I recorded that, 5.1 struck their coastline moments ago. Utah had a mid-sized quake yesterday. Oklahoma, Washington, Nevada, and South Carolina had small ones as well. The Santa Maria volcano in Guatemala has lava flows generating landslides, quakes, and even small pyroclastic blasts. Twin Lakes Beach in Manitoba is covered in dead fish. That'd be oxygen depletion. I mentioned that Asia's weather is opposite of the U.S. drought. I don't know who has it worse, honestly. They're getting pounded and two more are set to hit. For those unfamiliar with RSOE cyclone tracking, the red line is where the storms came from, the green line is where they're going, and the markers along the way indicate the expected cyclone strength. You remember the massive corona hole allegedly smashing us with our solar wind stream? Yesterday we described it as wimpy and Dr. Phillips agrees it isn't exactly troublesome space weather. Some say the coronal mass ejection we were expecting missed us or is still coming, but my best guess is this slight rise in the orange, the solar wind density which cuts off right around the turn of the new day UTC, was a glancing blow. Looking at Ovation Prime we see that very mild particle bombardment cut off at the same time. NOAA has labeled active region 11535 as beta gamma, but I don't think she's alone in magnetic complexity. Coming down to the region we focused on for days, it is in DK, but I don't think you can count her out just yet. Here's the beta gamma spot up north, nice mixing, can't separate positive and negative. You will notice a smaller beta region has turned the northeastern limb behind her. A big one is turned in on the south as well. This one looks like it's gamma as well. Having a look at what the sun will bring to us soon, this is Stereo B with the Earth positioned off to the right in this image. Big, bright, active regions turning to face us, maybe even a sizable coronal hole behind it. Eyes up top, folks. The Beta Gamma spot is definitely active. Can you see the moving magnetic loops after the small flare? Yesterday, we looked at this filament turning over the solar equator and is now blending into the solar surface as it turns into threatened Earth. Our other dark, thin filament is probably too far turned to uh, be dangerous. Mostly quiet, folks. Enjoy it. That's the news. Be safe.